In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the invasion of trillions of cicadas that is starting right now. It's actually pretty fascinating. I have all the details and a bunch of facts for you right here in the video. Let's get into it and talk about what's going on. All right, now, first off, this is a phenomenon that only happens once every 220 years or so, and the last time it happened was way back in 1803. The next time it's going to happen beyond right now is in the year 2244. So historically, we're actually experiencing something that does not happen all that often, and it's starting right now. This is actually <laughs> really weird. I never thought I'd be this fascinated about bugs, but this is actually pretty weird and it's actually kind of a cool thing that's going on. So anyway, it is starting right now. Do you know what cicadas are? It's these long skinny bugs that make that loud buzzing noise and they sit up in trees and they buzz and buzz for a while. Yeah, that's what cicadas are. Well, guess what? Right now there's two different broods that are hatching at the same time and it's going to inject trillions of cicadas across 17 states and it's happening right now across the Carolinas. In fact, these are starting to hatch right now in North Carolina and South Carolina and then it's going to spread across 15 additional states, 17 states in total where they're going to be spreading out trillions of these little bugs, okay? So let me explain a little bit more about this because again, I found this to be very fascinating. I was doing a bunch of research on this and um, I don't know, it just seems very, very interesting to me. But this is super weird. Guess what? How long do you think that these cicadas live in the ground before they emerge into these bugs where they climb up in trees and make that buzzy noise? Well, guess what? They live in the ground as insects for about 13 to 17 years, depending on the brood, before they actually come out of the ground. Seriously, look it up. It's super weird. But yeah, they literally live in the ground for 13 to 17 years. And then they come out and um, they live for a little while. They lay a bunch of eggs and then that's about it for them. So <laughs> it's super weird, right? I know, right? Um, but anyway, so this is what's happening. And again, this whole phenomenon is generally we don't see broods like this hatching at the same time, but we're seeing brood 13 and brood 17 hatching simultaneously right now across the entire country okay so basically what happens is they come out of the ground they shed their skin after a little while which the next layer actually has um, wings underneath so they turn into a flying insect and then they go up into the trees and um, yeah they eventually lay a bunch of eggs and then that's about it for them so um, really interesting stuff that's going on right now and they're suspecting a bunch of different things here okay so this is actually super interesting they've actually said statistically we could be seeing 1 million cicadas per acre that's nuts okay have you heard how loud these things are i mean you could have like two bugs in a in a single acre and i mean it's loud these things are super loud right but they're saying we could have up to a million bugs in a single acre um, making that loud buzzing noise. So, <laughs> I mean, seriously, what they've said is basically this would be likened to like a leaf blower or like a motorcycle revving very, very high is how loud this is going to be. So this is going to be nuts to see this actually happening here. So if you're basically located kind of around like the middle uh, stretch of the of the country here, and you can probably see on the map here, um, the states that are going to be included on this, again, only 17 states, not all the states that are going to be included on this, but 17 states that will be included for basically all of this. Now, obviously, a bunch of the other states will probably also have cicadas around, but not nearly in the density than what we're going to see in these 17 states here um, that are going to be included with these broods. But after this, then basically once they all die off, then it just kind of goes back. All the eggs, you know, basically fall into the ground and then they kind of repeat this cycle here. But the next time that we see this, you know, uh, the, the, the two broods hatching together like this will be in again in about 200 and what, 220 years or so? Yeah, it's going to be a very long time from now, well beyond any of us, I would have to think. Now, here's what also is interesting about this, because I thought, like, this is super weird, but who's going to benefit from this? As I was doing more research on this, they actually found that birds, uh, in years after that this cicada boom happens like this, they actually found that bird populations go up substantially, like skyrocket bird populations. Why? <laughs> why would that be? Because here's why. 
birds love cicadas apparently so they like eat tons of these cicada bugs right so all these birds out there are going to be eating on these cicadas and they're going to have you know very uh healthy lifestyles for the next couple months here <laughs> so these birds are going to just be eating up on these cicadas like crazy and apparently they go out and they um have healthy babies and all kinds of things like this so we start to see massive surges in population of birds okay in fact i was just reading um they've been examining the crops you know like birds have crops it's not, they don't have a stomach, they have a crop, right? So a bird eats something, it goes into a crop and a gizzard, things like this. And it kind of like, you know, squishes the food around, whatever. But anyway, apparently they've been examining the crops of these birds and they continue to find they're just loaded with cicadas already, right? So anyway, these birds are chowing down and they're like, hey, this is awesome, right? It's a feast, right? So they're super cool and the, the birds are loving this, but they continue to find that these birds are just going to, in the next couple of years here, blue jays and turkeys and like all these different birds out there. I mean, obviously there's way more than blue jays. These are just some of them uh, that they were citing in the articles and the research that I was doing, but they were citing these birds in particular, but usually there's booms in these populations of birds after a cicada boom like this. So yes, it's going to be loud. It's going to be super annoying for anybody living in these 17 states who have to listen to this buzzing for a, <laughs> a month or however long it is. And then um, until these things go away. Uh, but then eventually in the next couple of years here, we're probably going to see just a boatload of birds coming out of nowhere, right? So anyway, if you see, you know, in the next two, three years or so, we see tons and tons of extra birds coming around. Obviously, you know, the hatches will happen this year, things like that. Um, but, you know, bird populations will likely go up as well. But um, over the coming years, yeah, that's what might, might happen. Now, they've also said it, things like frogs and turtles and fish and things like this will also snack on these bugs. So there you go. <laughs> I don't know. This is super weird. I'm not a fan of cicadas. Why? Because they're super loud. Uh, they're very, very loud. And apparently have the, uh, they have red eyes as well. Okay. So maybe you saw that, but yeah, they apparently have red eyes. Um, they're very loud, but so I'm not like a huge fan of these things because they're just very, very loud, right? I can't even imagine what it's going to sound like to hear a million of these things or whatever in a single acre going on, right? I mean, just imagine that, right? Well, you're going to imagine it and you're going to experience it here very soon if you're located in any of these 17 states. So I don't know. I found it to be very fascinating. I wanted to share with you really quickly. Um, it'd be super interesting to um, continue following this here over the next month or so uh, as we get more details on these hatches coming out. Like I said, they're just coming out now, uh, as in they're like just starting to hatch now and they're just starting to come out. But basically what happens is basically between May and June, heavy rains and um, that and then soil temperatures that hit 64 degrees, that's when the magic happens. That's when these suckers start coming out of the ground and they're teenagers. I mean, seriously, that's the thing though. These cicadas, by the time that they come out of the ground, they're teenagers. They're, they're between the ages of 13 and 17 years old by the time they emerge from the ground as these little alien bugs and they come out and um, they start, you know, infesting everything. So <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> this is crazy. I never thought I'd be this fascinated about bugs. I personally think bugs are disgusting, but um, there you go. At least they're not June bugs. I mean, seriously, June bugs are absolute the worst, right? Have you ever seen those things? They're like the size of a 50 cent piece, like a half dollar uh, coin. They're massive and they're disgusting, right? Oh man, yuck. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that for now. I hope you found this to be fascinating. I'm totally geeking out over this. I think it's um, very interesting and uh, who knows? I'll, maybe I'll bring you another update here in the next couple of weeks as we get more interesting uh, details on these things taking over the entire country. So there you go. Trillions of them. That's a lot. That's a lot of bugs, right? So if you're in the South and you're driving around, you, you might see um, these things splattered all over the front of your car or something. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully not. They're probably going to be all over your house, stuck everywhere. And um, yeah, there you go. So I'll keep you posted as I get more information, but I thought this was pretty interesting. I just want to bring it to you really quickly. So enjoy your day. Hopefully you're also geeking out over this like me. If not, that's totally cool too. Otherwise, enjoy. Take care. Have a good one. Check out some of the other videos here on the channel. And until next time, enjoy your day and I'll catch you again later.